Now for the MP15DC. This is an X Conrail unit. Conrail got these from Redding. They were built in 1974 and I'm assuming that they had a 15 year lease because I believe in 1989 Conrail turned them in. Didn't want them any longer for whatever reason. I personally like these units a lot. Um, just because they got the road uh, Blomberg Type B truck on them. And I like the way they look. They're a little bit longer than an SW 1500. So I decided to get this unit. And I also, funny thing, found this unit in a picture on Burlington Northern in 1995 I think it was. It was either 93 or 95. So I found that very interesting. So actually Rich could run it in his consist if he wanted to. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna say okay Conrail turned it in but then they leased it back. But it's under the GATX name instead of the Conrail. You can see where it was painted out. Actually this camera is not picking it up. There we go. Now it is. So pretty cool. This is DCC equipped. I was going to take it apart and show you because it is a really tiny tiny decoder that is attached to the 8 pin wire harness and unfortunately my computer will not identify what type of decoder it is so I'm not sure because I would like to purchase more of these. Um, it is definitely not an NCE decoder um, because it looks way different than the NCE ones. It does not look like a Digitrex and it does not look like a train control systems one. So at this point I'm not sure what it is for a decoder and at some point in time I may take it apart and video it and if any of you out there can identify the decoder that would be super great. But anyway, the only thing this is missing actually I have it in the box is the horn and it's broke. I need to glue it and I just haven't gotten around to it. But other than that it's a beauty. It was a little noisy when I got it. I lubed it up and now it's beautiful. So let's have a look at it closer. Well, I had a bit of a technical difficulty here. Um, i got to check my programming. One thing I noticed, though, with this decoder, whoever it is, and maybe you guys out there can identify it by this manufacturer number, um, it's very slow when you do anything with it. Like finding the um, um, address and stuff. I'm not sure why, but anyway... Um, so if any of you out there might know off the top of your head what decoder that is, that would be great. Um, I just tried to run this by its number on the cab and it's not running. So I think I, when I did something here I screwed it up. 9625, I want to activate it. I was playing around with this trying to figure it out, um, the light dimming and so on and so forth. And it's not working. Interesting. I wonder what happened. The headlight's on. And the headlight's not shutting off. Hmm. Well, alright, I guess I'm going to open it up, because we got a problem. Maybe I put the decoder in backwards. Although it shouldn't matter, it still should run. Okay, it's running. I reprogrammed it so it's running on channel 3. I don't know why the long address didn't take. It was working fine before, and now it's not, so I'll reprogram it. Um, the other thing that this does is I'm able to dim the light but I'm not able to manually work the direction of the light. Um, when you turn the light on and you put it in reverse, it, um, it goes in the direction that it is, and you, gotta, you can dim it with the F4. 
I tried programming it like an NCE decoder, and that's all I can get it. So, anyway, not a big deal. Um, like I say, if anybody knows what this decoder is, um, throw a comment in the line. And then maybe I can figure out how to do more specific programming. It runs great. I love it.